Hey guys, welcome back to program of, and today in this episode we're gonna talk about the AI stuff for web development and for software programmers. So most of you had been asking this one question that for the current year and for the upcoming time, will there be any need of software engineers or the software programmers because already we have got some AI stuff coming in from 2022 onwards and recently there had been a release of GitHub Copilot as well. The trial version has been released and many of you can actually access that and use it. So if you've been already been registered for GitHub Copilot, so you might have got the access to that as well. So now we have a concern and a query regarding that. We received a question that says GitHub Copilot, for example, is still new, but I would be surprised if it gets more robust faster than we think. Sure, you will need, sure you will need someone who knows what to tell it, but for how long will it last? So now the concern is that that we have got this new AI tools that are auto writing the code or suggesting the code and recently we have the github copilot that uses open AI codecs. So the point is that how long is it going to last? So for example if you are, if you want to learn software programming or if you're thinking about to learn software programming or engineering so can you go along learning this thing in 2022 and for how much time will your job be really secure in these fields so let me answer this question and let's get into this very depth so github copilot uses open ai codex to suggest some code and entire functions in real time so first and foremost thing let's try to understand what is github copilot so it is an integration extension to your editor you can integrate with any of the editors that you'll be using for example visual studio code and when you integrate that with visual studio code it automatically starts to read your code that means it will start to read all the codes that you have written or if you're just starting to code so it will start to give you some suggestions related to the comments or related to the function names that you describe so it's very simple thing Whatever we used to do prior to this was that whenever we needed a code, we used to go on Google and search for the particular code, for example, adding two numbers. So then we used to get some stack overflow code, then used to copy that and paste that. But now, as soon as you type, for example, in JavaScript function add two numbers, it will automatically suggest you the entire code that will be related to this one function for adding two numbers. So that's the real efficiency of this GitHub Copilot integration with the Visual Studio Code and any of the editors you might be using. So it automatically starts to read your code, read the comments that you're writing, and you can actually try to make an entire program also try to create new algorithms try to mix merge the algorithms and create functions very easily using github copilot but how long till what extent it is actually usable that is a real question so we had tried to use this so the first and foremost thing that i would like to tell you is this github copilot is really good in suggesting the codes it gives you multiple number of options and suggestions that you can choose from usually and along with that it also works really well but there's some problems in reading the variables and the data names and the functions because when you're working into number of files so you, it does not reads and takes the context of the entire directory but the main focused files but your file may be dependent upon that and it works well but that is the one problem with this right now. So one thing that you need to understand particularly about GitHub Copilot or Tab9 or any other suggestion engines is that these are suggestion engines. They are trying to suggest you some codes. They are not trying to write automatically write the code and there is some kind of things made into it some algorithms made into it that work really well using AI and the different things but one thing that is to be understood is that if you're looking down to this and thinking that your job is insecure now in 2022 or into the upcoming period of time, so it is not true. Because this is just the starting phase of what we are trying to have a look at. And for at least for the next one decade or two decades, your job is absolutely like absolutely into no such insecurity. So you can definitely go along learning software programming. And let me tell you one thing more is that these engines cannot write code automatically 
like you cannot say them to write and code for Instagram and they will automatically generate the entire code for Instagram. There is a need of a human intervention. So human intervention is very much necessary and without that there can be nothing done with these kind of engines. Though we have got some other tools also coming up like GPT-3, OpenAI Codex, they are automatically trying to use natural language processing and using natural language processing they are trying to write the code as you can command and they will automatically generate the code into different languages and help you to create the entire software. But once again, the creation, the commanding has to be really particular and has to be really clear. Because if you look down to the some of the demonstrations that has been put forward by OpenAI Codex, it indicates that there are some really complex commanding included into it. Like creation of the variables. Who understand variables? Does any layman person understand what is variables into programming? No. You have to have the knowledge of what programming and software engineering is all about. If you don't understand this one thing, you cannot command these softwares, these tools that you have to do particularly this thing and they will automatically do it. So you cannot directly command them. You have to be at to every step and every position to command these tools to help you create the software or to create the functions and the codes for you. And if you're not there, if you're just a layman person you, who does not understand what programming is, so these tools are useless right now. So it helps you to write faster code, but it does not automatically generate the entire code. Also, when we come down to algorithms, it is not that good in creating the algorithms by its own. So it by its own, it cannot create an algorithm. And sometimes it also spills out some nonsense codes, by the way. For example, if you just write login function, it will automatically take in some of the inputs. So there are just simple codes, but it, there will be no algorithm as in define what is to be done with the input credentials and the password that we take in from the input fields. There's nothing more than that. So the one thing that is to be understood and particularly for you, if you had been searching the answer for this, should you learn software programming or will AI kill it? So the answer is that yes, you should learn software. Pro Obviously, if you look down to the history of the AI, so AI has been evolving since decades and till now what we have seen has been a great leap into the field of AI, but still AI is just add to its base. It is not gonna take up any jobs. Yeah, obviously, if you look down, so there had been time into the history of programming where, had, where we had some multiple scenarios, same kind of scenarios. And back into 2010 when WordPress was just evolving, so every person said that now we don't need the programmers or web developers to create the websites. Everyone is now eligible enough to create their own website. It's so very simple with WordPress. Everyone can create e-commerce website. Everyone can create this kind of website. And till date we have got many more such kind of things and objects into the row. So so we have Shopify, we have Squarespace and different things into this into the field. But still, when it comes to creation of an actual product, when it comes to an actual usable product, so we do need programmers, we do need web developers either. So into the same way for creation of the softwares and creation of the applications, we will need software engineers and without them, it's currently impossible. So it can be happening. So, and just try to think that one thing that if these tools are so very good, so there would have been a time right now that we can just command these tools as create a Facebook. So automatically, if they would have created the Facebook into a second, what would have happened? For something that has taken 20 years and something that can be created into seconds is currently something that's really impossible it cannot happen so this is to this is to be understood that your role as a software programmer your role as a developer is really secure you have to get into a position where you can actually command these tools not be in command of these tools so obviously the people who are into the basic skill set jobs obviously their job is going to be killed it's like dictating a coder that only writes the code who knows all the syntaxes who knows all who knows all the codes so obviously their job is gonna be killed because now we'll not be needing those kind of people who are just at to the very basic skill set of programming so we will not be needing those kind of people because now programming will get faster and writing 
codes will get faster writing the same kind of repetitive codes will also get faster because now these engines will provide us much more faster support for that but to be understood Pro software programmers and engineers will be required to develop the algorithms, the complex programs, and much more functional programs that is actually that would be actually usable into the society and anywhere into the businesses. So, don't worry about anything into the AI. These are just tools that are around you to help you out with your coding and with your efficiency and faster compilation faster writing of code so use them as tools for yourself and leverage the quality of your production of your codes and do not worry about them so if you want to learn software programming my final instinct for this is that you should go along learning software programming or software engineering and you should be learning how to code and how to program because that is going to be the future and your job is completely secure at least for a decade of time so take my word words written and granted and if you have any more suggestions any more queries please leave that down in the comment section below we'll be happy to reply that and if you liked our video please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel made your next episode till then goodbye